Good morning, I'm on the road again today. I've come down to Gosport and Stokes Bay Golf Club. I'm here to meet Neville and Judith, play 18 holes. This is a nine hole course, two sets of tees, different yardages, different pars, and even two different greens to negotiate on the back nine. Now this course opened, I think it was 1885, and it's a military course. A lot of Navy, a lot of Army around here, around Portsmouth. So uh, I'm going to play a bogey today, and I'll tell you why as we go around. Well, if you don't know what a bogey is, I'll even tell you what a bogey competition is. So why am I playing a bogey? Well, according to the club history, this was the first course where the bogey of a course was considered. That is, what would an average golfer play to? What would be an average golfer's handicap? And way back, we used to think in terms of the bogey of a course, not the par of a course. And yep, that was a shank. So what is a bogey competition? Put simply, it is match play against yourself and your handicap. So you either half holes, win holes, or in this case with my shank, I lose the hole. So I go one down against my own handicap. Now this golf course travels in an anti-clockwise direction around the outside perimeter. So in other words, virtually every single hole has got out of bounds all the way down the right. But when you're not driving it very well, that makes for a painful round of golf. And this is going to be rather a painful round of golf. Another feature of this golf course is blind shots. Even when you don't have bushes right in front of you, they're sort of like a horizon. And you kind of got to gotta guess how far to hit the ball. Now this is rather silly. And that's another ball out of bounds. Don't ask me why I just did that to myself. That lie is in a little cuppy lie. What the hell I was doing with this, I don't know. But that's life. We all make stupid decisions from time to time. I think it's because this is my last shot hole and I was desperate to get a plus one. Let me see, what if I got a score? I played one, two, three, four. I need to chip that in for a half. Bugger. Well, we got some friendly foxes to come and pay us a visit. And they were definitely looking for something and got it. Go, go. The first thing I was thinking today, especially as I'm not playing very well, Turn in. is that playing the competition on camera is not a good idea. No, it's, it's now we walked to the next and we skipped the fourth tee, which is a par five. The tee box is about 90 yards back. And instead we played the, from the 13th tee as a par four. And being stroke index one, it gave me an extra shot. Because the world handicap system only gives me four shots around this golf course. Whoever assessed the course thought this was easy, but I'm betting they didn't play it. Dog leg left over water. You can't see the fairway, but I know it's out there somewhere. And I've just gone with the four iron, which seemed to work out rather nice. Now this hole has got two greens. We're playing to the right hand one 
The left hand one is basically behind my backside and we played to that one later on in the day. The greens are pretty tidy, I must admit. And the bunkers, well, they're even tidier. What absolutely awful golf! That little injury, it's uh, well, it's ninety-five percent gone, but it's obviously altered my swing path, and I can't find my ass with both hands. This course is really very interesting, and they've just had the bunkers done. Have a look at this. I, there's something very attractive about revetted bunkers, isn't there? Next tee, let's see if I can actually remember how to play golf. Sixth hole, long par three, over water, one bunker to avoid. And as it's down the wind, I tried my luck with a five iron. And got it on the dance floor. Well, I'm fairly certain there is some fairway over those bushes, over the water. But I didn't fancy toying with that. I tried lasering the fence, but I wasn't getting a reading. I wonder if it's something special by the MOD. Anyway, here we go. Yep, that was the razor wire. But you know me. Don't ever give up on par. There's always a chance. Yes! We finally get a view of the sea and the Isle of Wight. Now, eight is another par five and it goes round the oh, MOD oh. place. And I really didn't know what to hit or how far I could hit it. So I tried playing cautious with the three wood and then cautious again with the hybrid. But such is my swing today, I donated yet another ball. Final hole is a short par three. Not too sure why it's stroke index six, because it was fairly straightforward. And down the wind. Well, I haven't played great today, but I have enjoyed to my it. day out. Yeah. Ta-ra! Oh, Simon. Good par. Well then, guys, what a disaster. But it was on the cards, really. Um, I've been putting off having a lesson and putting off sorting out my problems for several months. So now it is time to actually get on this phone because I'm using the phone now, get on this phone and actually give Matt a ring and get two or three lessons sorted out this autumn and then come back and do this course some justice. Ta-ra!